Hey guys, so it's um, Monday morning, ready to head into work. Um, but yeah, it's been a super interesting week. Um, just a few things happened, and um, yeah, we'll update you as we go. Finished the meeting, um, hanging out with this guy, Lou Reddy, uh, currently enterprise manager at um, Tafanga Trust. And the question I have for you, Lou, is like, if you had a million dollars right now, like, what would you do with that money? Yeah, I'd probably set my family up, pay off the, pay off the mortgages and the, the debt that we have. Um, I'd use part of the funds to work on projects that I've been thinking about for many years. Yeah. Um, I call them passion projects. Uh, I'd invest in. You know, focusing on that and, and getting those things off the ground rather than uh, trying to do day in day out things that um, you know you have to pay the bills for. So something I did in preparation for today's video was Google search um, how people what people think about making a million dollars in a year. It was um, super interesting. So it's basically three things. So one, um, it's pretty much impossible. Um, two, you need a lot. Of, you need a lot of luck. And three, um, yeah, it's pretty much impossible. So one of the things I thought it'd be cool to cover was um, just some of the maths behind how we come up with a million dollar idea. Um, yeah, real quick, uh, back of the nap napkin sketch. with getting to a million dollar product or you know revenue stream um, can be as simple as thinking about your idea as you know getting 5,000 people um, to buy a $200 product you know or getting 2,000 people to buy a $500 product and you know the other way around getting 200 people to buy a $5,000 product and when I start yeah sort of naming it in that way it sort of it makes this idea and project pretty simple or well, not simple but it makes it believable that in 52 weeks, you know, um, using social media, internet, Facebook ads, whatever, um, I could reach 5,000 people. Um, and obviously, you got to, not obviously, but like you got to times it by 10. So I potentially need to reach 50,000 reach 50, people um, and 10% of those convert. And so, yeah, when it comes to, you know, how ambitious our projects are or how we think about them, thinking about this million dollar idea um, could be as simple as finding 5,000 people to sell a $200 product to. And yeah, it's easier said than done. And one of the things that, um, yeah, I'm sort of, I'm reading um, in this book is that failure is the way forward. And that without having some sort of strategy, without actually admitting that, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. And that's absolutely true. It's the action that causes motivation. And quite often, I think we expect to be super motivated to do something and then have a desirable outcome. But the reality is, is that we might be motivated, like I was starting this, you know, you do some research and you hear what people are saying on the internet and you go, you know, is this possible? But the only way to get out of it is to do, is to act and is to try something. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to finish the video right here. And yeah, next week um, we're going to have to, and we have to, yeah, think about what actions I can take, um, which, what actions I can fumble through, um, who I can ask for help. Um, so the, yeah, um, so until then. Um, yeah, see you.